Is she still talking? Yeah, yeah I'll be quick. Kevin, they go up 10. You call timeout with about 12 minutes to go. What was the conversation like there? You want a 21 to 6 run? No, I mean, you know, we, these guys have been playing so hard all year and giving ourselves chances. I, I just kind of remind, remind them that we've been in this situation a lot. And so everybody take a deep breath. We cut it to four. We gave up two offensive rebounds. It was more or less just, just calming them down. You know, you have Jamie out there, you have Deshaun out there. Um, you know, you have two freshmen. Um, just making sure they understood that we've been in this situation before and take a deep breath, it's okay. How about what Deshaun gave you coming off the bench now? Is he getting more comfortable in, in that role? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I, I find it comical. Everybody thinks starting matters. I mean, he played 41 minutes the other night against Ohio State, and he plays 31 minutes tonight. So I, just because your name doesn't get called is probably one of the most irrelevant things in basketball. What does a win like this do to, it's huge. for the rest this was, of the season? This was a huge win, man. I mean, um, you know, the Rutgers game was, was, was a, a, a tough, tough, tough loss at home. Um, I thought we battled and gave ourselves chances on the road against Ohio State. And, you know, to keep fighting. Uh, I've seen a lot of teams that have been through this that kind of just don't come out and fight, and these guys show great heart. So I think for them it's, it's, it's really important. Last thing, the free throw shooting after Ohio State, how much was that kind of emphasized in practice? You go 24. Yeah, we, we really haven't had much time to practice. So we, Don, I'll, go, I'll go to the line with Dante Scott every time at the end of the game. He missed two free throws. It's basketball. Sometimes it happens. Uh, Coach, do you have any injury updates on, on Maddie or Jordan? I have no updates on that. No, I have no idea. OK, and then just also just going Sean, what impressed you most about his game tonight? I thought his defense was phenomenal. I thought, you know, obviously he's got good offensive numbers, and he will he will eventually give you those offensive numbers on a consistent basis as he gets older. But his defense on Sanford was a difference in in the game. You know, he really started being physical. He's chasing them off screens. Sanford hit some tough twos in the second half, but I thought he really did a good job of, of really staying on them and chasing them off. And I thought once they stopped getting easy threes, that really changed. That, that just gave us a little bit more confidence. Kevin, uh, your team, oh, that's loud. Your team shot uh, 17 threes uh, until the 11 minute mark, none after that. Uh, was there an emphasis to get away from the perimeter and kind of push it inside? Yeah, I, mean, I, I for some reason at home, we, 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 we've we really started off. I, w I don't want to use the word lack of days ago. I think we've we've started off very timid at home for some reason, and we've settled for shots. Um, and one of the biggest things for us at halftime watching our offense and throughout the second half was just reminding them that, you know, we are a little bit more athletic. Let's take advantage of driving. Let's take advantage of getting the basketball inside. I thought we did a good job of getting the ball inside to Dante, getting the ball inside to Jew off pick and rolls. Um, it, it, for some reason, we're, we're just getting off to really lackadaisical starts at home. Not lackadaisical, just our defense is really good to start games at home, and our offense, I think, is just a little timid. And can you speak to the importance of Juju's play in the post and kind of getting that turnaround, that second half run? I, I, I can't say enough about Ju. Um, you know, he, he had a great bounce back tonight, you know, because he, he really struggled the other night going four for 15. Um, but he played 47 minutes or something crazy amount of minutes in that game. So uh, I think for the, the load he's bearing, he's playing for them phenomenal. Kevin, in the first half, eight turnovers, only three in the second half. How important was that flip? Yeah, again, our, our turnovers in the first half were kind of, we fumbled a pass, we fumbled two passes, uh, and we dribbled out of bounds. It's just, again, it, they come out and they're very, they're very focused defensively. I think for some reason, it just takes them a little time to get adjust. It's been every, it's been every home game all year. It just, it hasn't just been recently. It, it was. You know, Coppin, it was UMBC. We did the same thing at home. I, you know, it's, it, it's, these guys love playing at home, but it's just taking them a little time to relax on the offensive end and, and get into a rhythm. With the injuries to Jordan, Maddie, and Noah, do you have to squeeze more out of the starters? Well, Ben just got shorter. No, I mean, we're going to have to mix, uh, uh, you know, I gotta, I'm going to have to slide Jamie over to the power forward spot a little bit. Um, we'll make it work, and that's one thing about this group. You know, Dante will will go back to being being the power forward, which he can. He's actually more comfortable. He plays better at that spot anyway. So, um, 
you know, this time of year, you just got to figure it out. Peyton Sanford started off three for three from deep and then was 0 for 6 the rest of the – was there an adjustment that was made with the game plan? Or I, I put Deshaun on him. So Deshaun took a personal stop and he did a phenomenal job of understanding what we wanted to do. Hi, Coach. Um, you guys haven't really had back-to-back -back home games yet this year. Nope. What, um, what does this win do? If you want to call the do? office, you're, you're more than welcome. <laughs> what does this do to establish some momentum before you um, play Illinois this week? I, to be honest with you, I'm just looking forward not to going home and pack. It's the first time since uh, when the league play started again, January 2nd. It's the first time since January 2nd we haven't had, we've had back-to-back -back home games. You're really going to count that as back-to-back? -back. We played at UCLA. Do you know how far UCLA is? It's pretty far. So I, I wouldn't count that as back-to-back. -back. But you would work really well in the Big Ten office because they count that as back-to-back. -back. They're hiring. No? All right.